Hey guys, uh, I just I try to give our, our guys some slack because three weeks, and I'm sure some of them have recovered from COVID and just a lot of stress. But you know, there's encouraging things in the fourth quarter, but we can't take that away from looking at the whole picture of the game. So my question for y'all is where do you think we go from here? What does the coaching staff need to do? What do the players on offense need to do? What do you got? I mean, my thing, this isn't going to be an instant ready offense. This is like a, a fine steak that takes some time to grill. And Brian Etheridge, he's a grill master, one of our owners. Huh. He knows how long it takes to, 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 you know, make a masterpiece. And that's what this Baylor offense is. It's going to take some time. This is not, like I said, this is not going to be right away. It's going to be something that takes some time for them to catch their stride, get comfortable. I mean, the pandemic really just, was detrimental to how much uh, time they're able to have to practice and put this new system into place. And so, I mean, that, that, that is showing itself in a very ugly way early on in the season. So I think it's just time is going to tell the story for us. Michael Jordan said it best at a North Carolina uh, pep rally. He said, the ceiling is the roof. <laughs> and I think for Baylor right now, the ceiling is the roof, meaning there's not a lot of upside of where you can go from here offensively. What I wanted to see after the West Virginia game was, okay, Baylor learns from the loss. They learn from where they were exposed. They they come out and they look a lot better against UT. The offense was not just stagnant, but it was boring. I mean, things were not remotely exciting in any in any you know fashion of the game from an offensive perspective, and there was it wasn't productive. You know, you go Dinkin and Duncan short routes. You have such a low percentage of first downs in comparison. I, the first half was okay, but in general in the game, you're just not looking at a Baylor team, a Baylor offense that's playing where you'd like to see them right now. 